Man, that Western Conference Finals sure looks like it's shaping up. <laughs> yeah. They are now just one game away from reaching the Conference Finals after last night's win. Chris Paul asked by our friend Kristen Ledlow after the game about being that close to finally his promised land because he is the player who has played the most games in NBA history without ever being, and here is what he said to her. It's the process, man. I've been here before 3-1. Went bad real quick, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. We just enjoying the process. Want to get home, see my family, you know what I mean? Good birthday gift. I'll take it. Dude, first of all, shout out the tape delay guy and the confetti oh, guy. Yeah, Both of those guys over the weekend are going to be looking for new jobs. Yeah. Anyway, here is what CP3 is, of course, referring to. We all know the Clippers blew that 3-1 lead to Harden and the Rockets back in 2015. Byron, you coach Chris. You two were very tight. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's being too, I mean, they're up 3-1. They won both games in Utah. Is he being a little too cautious here? No, we did hear what he just said, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> Is he being too cautious? No, by no. no means. Okay. He's been there, like he said, and it went real bad real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So he understands that, look, just because you're up 3-1 doesn't guarantee that you're going to get to the Western Conference Finals. He's been in, he's been in that position and it didn't work out. Yeah. Now, obviously, he's much better uh, suited to get there this year with the team that he's playing with. Mm -hmm. This Houston Rocket team why, is why one of the better show teams this? in the league. Why, so, why are you showing this now? You know, when come you, when on. You why look are you going to do Byron these, like yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, come on now. <laughs> Look at Byron back there. First, first Byron, of all, Byron behind we Chris back we there. We wasn't up 3 1, first of all, so yes. that, put, take <laughs> yeah. that away. Yeah. We were up 3 2. I yeah. <laughs> We were up 3-2 <laughs> and lost the last two games. So think, don't don't put that back up there. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think, no, he's not being overly cautious. He understands that, look, I've been in this position before, and I'm going to do everything I can to come out game five, which they probably didn't do when he was with the Clippers, you know, to say, hey, let's get this thing over with as fast as possible. And now he's got he, he's got a chip on his shoulder, as does James Harden. Right. You know, so you got two, two of the best players in this league, you know, with something to prove. So I think this is great that he's even thinking about it. See, I think he is being overly cautious, and why no. wouldn't he be? Because <laughs> all everyone does is talk about, about this. this. The 3-1 yeah. lead, the 3-2 yeah. lead, yeah. right? Um, Charles Barkley. Why do you want to throw the 3-2 lead? Charles, Charles Barkley, George. because we put it out there, and you right. mentioned it. Only because you mentioned it. Don't throw that in there. Um, and Barkley was even joking about it at halftime with, with Ernie and those guys. So, of course, it's something everyone talks about. It's something he's clearly conscious of um, because it's on every stat pack that we all get in the NBA. So yeah, I don't blame him for feeling that way. And look, here's the thing, is that despite the fact that Chris hasn't made the conference finals yet, there's this notion that maybe he's played poorly. He has it. That's right. His player right. efficiency right. rating he's in the great. playoffs Top is one of the great. best in the history Top of the sport. In the history of the NBA. We're going to yeah. talk about yeah. this a lot over the next few days because I think we might have some free time between yeah. before the conference <laughs> final start. Yeah. Just you maybe. Think? You think? Maybe. He's we'll been awesome. See. Ain't, no um, may, ain't no maybe. But, but, we, but will. we will talk about the fact that, that Chris Paul is top 10 all time in NBA history yeah. and how efficient he's been in the playoffs. He's top five all time in steals per game, assists per game, mm -hmm. but he's had those. 18 second bursts, 30 right. second bursts at the end of some of these games that have just, that's all anyone can think about. Right. Clearly, that's what he thinks about. Right. So we'll see what happens.